Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to NASCAR 6 Total Team Control. It is time for the season finale. Oh man, the pressure is on. Well, only in Cup, really, <laughs> not nationwide in the slightest. Um, the pressure is on in Cup, though, because I want to make sure that we stay 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I've already clinched the championship. Um, there, There is no fear there, and Joe can't lose his spot. But uh, Scott and Boris are still a little bit in danger in the standings. Uh, let me actually show that real quick before we go. Uh, there is still a very real chance that um, these guys could take their spot if something bad happened. And the thing is, I can control how they run when I'm driving as them. <laughs> And maybe I can control pit strategy, assuming nothing crazy happens. But if one of them blows up when I'm not controlling them, like has happened before, that's going to be real bad. Um, so we just have to really, really hope that everything goes smoothly. Um, I'm planning on winning the race with my car. Uh, and I'm, uh, you know, I want to go all with a bang, obviously. Uh, but I really am going to have to keep a close eye on these two. Um, Joe, I'm probably going to let him fend for himself unless we're just in a position where I can help them all evenly. Uh, like Phoenix actually ended up being that way. Um, I really didn't expect to be as good as we were there, um, but, but that worked out really well. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it is time. It is time. Um, but first, but first... Uh, we gotta, we gotta get qualifying in. What? What the frick just happened? Okay, I've relaunched the game now. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why that happened exactly, but sure. Anyway, um, yeah. So we are um <laughs> going to go to qualifying. I really hope that doesn't happen again, because that was concerning. Anyway, let's go. All right. Qualifying here for the nationwide car at Homestead. Saw before I jumped in here that my teammates have the front row. So we're going to see if we can disrupt that. I will say, car isn't handling particularly well right now um, so we might need to uh, tweak that <laughs> well you know what you know what I'm gonna let them have the front row frick it it's fine it's fine let them have something right <laughs> that was all very close too. look at that uh, all right well let's move on to cup qualifying Alright, cool, thanks. Anyway, cup qualifying now. Alright, cup qualifying now. I uh, put in the Joshua 24-25 setup. I hope it's better than the, the nationwide car setup, which was just my own... My own setup that I use. Um, I don't know, I feel a little tight. Kind of weird. HY car was skatey, but this just feels a little tight in the center. No, usually I just trust I trust Joshua, <laughs> but uh, I'm so, uh, so sure about it on this one. We'll see. That was the pole, so there's that. But. Wow, they are on the front row, or they would have been. Um, okay, and Joe's seventh. There you go. So everybody qualified well. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do half round down. We're gonna go with that. I think that'll be better for us. We got that by quite a bit though, so I probably shouldn't be complaining. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, all right. Uh, let's get on to the last nationwide race of the season. 
All right. Start next to Tony Stewart here, who I'm going to crowd just so that these boys can clear and everything. No, 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 no. See you down there, John Hamilton. Not allowed. Not allowed. Ooh, he's all over my bumper. He's all over my bumper. Stop it. What are you doing, John Hamilton? You need to knock it off, like right now. Oh god, okay. I've chased it up the track now. <laughs> Not good. Alright. Always John Hamilton, isn't it? It's just always John Hamilton. This is, uh, not going according to plan. Why are these? Why is this car so freaking tight? Uh, now it was the skatey one, and now it's acting up on me. All right, I do not want John Hamilton to lead in this race. So frick that. Uh oh. Well, <laughs> I intimidated him, and then it he quarter pedal crashed with Miller. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry, Brandon. I wasn't really trying to wreck Hamilton either, for that matter. I was just trying to loosen him up. And, uh... Well, it worked. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> oh, God. Weird cutscene. That I get sometimes, but not others. <laughs> um, alright. Well, at least we got the lead there. So John Hamilton didn't lead, so that's good. Um, Miller, however, has lost some spots, so let's, uh, let's get him back up here. Um, but I'm probably not going to end up showing oh my God, uh, too much of this. Uh, this race is pretty inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, not super important, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Just going to have some fun with it. But... Uh, Probably gonna cut ahead now until pit stops or so. All right, looks like a whole bunch of people are pitting. I just hit halfway on fuel on lap 20. Um, but uh, suppose we could start thinking about pitting pretty soon. Probably not with a crowd, but yeah. We are kind of pulling away from our buddies. Currently, pretty easily. I've found that that condition of tight I was experiencing can be alleviated if I use the apron a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. It helps the car rotate. I have definitely been laying down some pretty good lap times because of that. Um, Alright, well. Hmm. I kind of want to help my friends too. The pit situation. At all possible. Um, hmm. Hmm. Just going to go ahead and bring mine down, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, that was, it locked up on me there a bit, and I almost hit the end of pit road wall. Yikes. Yeah, gotta be careful about getting up to speed here on this access road thing. Oh, man, my mirror wasn't on either, I just realized. Um, okay. Oh, Miller got passed by Kansas. I saw that. Oh man, I almost freaking did it again. Jeez, that pit road's hard to get into. Guess that's why there's the access road. But man. Alright, I'm just going to do two for these guys. 
I'm just gonna go right back out on the track like this. Risky, but man, that stupid access road is crazy. Um, all right. I gave Boy a pretty large advantage, but I'm pretty sure I can run him down again. My car shouldn't be too big of a deal. Drop us down in the fourth position. Much better <laughs> that time. Get the dents out of it and come out right around with Boyer here. Goes by, slip back out on the track, there we go. And switch to my car. Alright, now we just gotta wait for things to cycle through, but I also have to catch Boyer, because he's way up there. You know, when I did the two tires thing, I was like, oh, they do use the access road, the AI. Interesting. Uh, but when I did the two tires for them, I wasn't thinking about how huge of an advantage I was gonna give them, but I still think I'll have time to catch them. Hopefully. Dang it, John Hamilton led a lap. Frick that guy. <laughs> okay, Carl is pitting from the lead. Hopefully everyone behind him does as well. But we're on the lead lap either way, so it's fine. I've caught Miller as well here. Make the pass on him. And try to chase down Boyer. Looks like everybody pitted that's going to change for the lead on pit road. Pretty sure that was after start finish line. Why am I down this far? Jeezer, looking at the track map, was <laughs> not paying attention. Um, the Boyer should inherit the lead back. Yep. Alright, so we are 1 2 3 with a huge advantage over everybody else. Boyer's still got a decent lead here. Two seconds. I got 16 laps though to chase him down and we are catching him really quickly actually, holy crap. So yeah, this is not going to be a big deal. You know, another thing that gave us a huge advantage over the AI is the fact that we didn't take the access road. As dangerous as it was hitting pit road without it, the AI actually slow down quite a bit through that section, and if you don't take it, you really do gain a ton of time. I didn't really think about that. I kind of forgot that was even a thing. I knew it was in one of the or uh, in a couple of these games, but I wasn't sure it was this one. And uh, yeah, so if you want to win a homestead, even if you don't have good equipment or whatever, um, or if you're new to the game and and, and still not doing so hot. Uh, Good, good way to gain a ton of spots is just pit without the access road because you're going to gain a bunch of time on them. That is for sure. But we have caught Boyer. <laughs> we are really fast. Really, really fast. I mean, that's par for the course for the season, obviously, but yeah. So, excuse me, Mr. Boyer as I take the lead here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to check out here and try not to get in trouble with lap traffic, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the race. Oh, Carl Edwards just blew up. I saw that. Well, rip you, I guess. Alright guys, we're going to be coming around here to the white flag, final lap of the nationwide season here. And uh, these guys are getting a little crazy. Um, <laughs> we have pulled away quite a bit from Boyer, he pulled away quite a bit from Miller, but Miller still has a huge lead over the others, so we're going to be 1-2-3. This race was never really in doubt, I kind of always knew it was going to go the way it did. But, uh, it was fun. Whoopsies. Guy was kind of crowding me, though. Let's be real. Um, but yeah. Was never in doubt. Knew pretty much how this was going to go. Just like the season. A dominant win. A dominant championship. Let's go burn it down. As we do. 
big burnout. Um, how about giving me the, you know, the good smoke, please, game? Hello? Good smoke? Really? Can not give me any good smoke? Come on. There you go. Jeez, are stingy. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and look at the results here. So we led 27, Boyer led 8, Miller led 7, Kansas led 4, and Hamilton led 1. I believe that's all of them, right? Well, no. I don't know. Anyway, going through the rest of the field here. Let's see where everybody ended up. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, 29 cars on the lead lap. And... Edwards and Finley out. Okay, Edwards led three. That's where the other laps were. Gotcha. Anyway, let us uh, move on. Heck yeah. We are the champions! Heck yeah. Alright guys, on to the cup race. The trip to South Florida has always been a popular one for the teams of the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. But now this race has more pressure than ever. It's the last race of the season and nobody wants to go home a loser. Those winter months back at the shop go by a lot faster if you finish the season with a win. This may be Florida, but this is no vacation. The stars of the Nextel Cup Series cruise into the Homestead Miami Speedway with just one thought in mind. It's time to kick some sand in everybody's face. EA Sports is proud to welcome you to beautiful South Florida and the Ford 400. Alright, here we go. Oh boy, here we go indeed. What a freaking launch I got. Holy moly, that was something. Um, well, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Definitely more of a launch than I expected to get. So what am I do? I'll let my car lead the first lap. I'm gonna try to get Riggs past me. Lead the second lap. And then I'll grab... Boris. Joe should be fine points wise no matter what happens. Look at Boris getting past three wide back there, of course. Um Joe should be fine no matter what happens in this race. Um, but I'll help him when I can. I just really, really, really wanna I, I kept saying really because I got scared about how deep I went on the apron there. Um but I just really want to make sure that Scott and Boris are fine. Uh, this is uh, a bad situation. I'm, I'm currently finding him in. Uh, okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Sort of. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mark. Crowded me, boy. No, not four white. Dang it. No, 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 Bobby. You need to change your mind. There you go. Gary, you backed out of it there. Trying to protect Joe a little bit there. Joe's making some moves, though, on his own. Ooh, a little run to the outside. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off the pass, but... No, doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a big crossover move. We are three wide. There's Kurt. Got Junior here, obviously. Oh, God. That was close. All right, cool. <laughs> we did it. Now, we just have to get Boris those five bonus points, and everything will be fine. But, yeah. Oh, man. So, obviously, there's still work to be done. There's still some stress to be had over making sure these two... You know, finish well and all that. Um, but <laughs> what uh, what I was gonna say is, 
we worked really hard this season to create and overcome challenges. Um, so here's the deal. If I had just focused on my car, I would have won probably nearly every race and quite easily. Um, no matter what with this game, even with high difficulty, you know, legend difficulty, um, I'm still going to dominate if I just focus on one card. The challenge became, hey, can I get these guys in the chase, especially the ones who haven't been doing well, like Boris, who originally I wasn't going to help at all. I've made no secret of the fact that I'm not really a Boris Said fan. <laughs> um, however, uh, there was interest from you viewers in seeing me get them all into the chase, so I thought, frick it, let's give it a shot. And it was difficult. Um, keeping my own car in good shape and yet also freaking uh, freaking uh, getting Boris from the back or Scott from the back because even if they qualify well they always just drift right back there. Um, is a challenge for sure. Then when the chase started uh, I was like well I'm just gonna focus on my car now but I quickly realized that's going to again just be too easy and even still I clenched before the last race um, if <laughs> uh, if I had just focused on me I would have won by 500 points probably um, so there's that um, and I was like nah we, we got to make this more interesting and then uh, and then you guys were like oh what go for the top four you could do it and I'm like all right Let's do it. And um, so that became the challenge. And so that's what it really is, is. This game really isn't a challenge for me anymore. Whoops, we made contact. Sorry about that. Um, unless I create my own challenges. Um, so there's that. Uh, one thing about the future, and I haven't decided exactly what we're doing yet. Um, will this game continue? There's a good chance, but maybe not in the way that you think. Um, I have a couple ideas that we'll, we'll talk about later. Um, but I also want to try some other things. And um, so I don't know what the future holds. But as far as finishing this off with a bang, it was... Whoops. <laughs> Overdrove that. Uh, it, was, it was about making it a little bit more exciting and entertaining for you guys than just me dominating with one car. Um, now granted, maybe that doesn't suit everybody's, uh, you know, wishes for the, for, for what I did with it. Maybe some of the finagling and pit strategies and occasionally dirty play that I have pulled off here, uh, Maybe that, uh, maybe that hasn't appealed to, to everyone. Um, and for that, you know, I apologize. But I basically... I, I stopped thinking about this as a racing game to some degree. and started thinking about it as a strategy game. Um, so that would probably change in the future... If, you know, I do go on with it to a fourth season, the concept of it would be different. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, right now, I'm just kind of rotating between these guys to keep them ahead of everyone else. Because every time I let one of them go, they drift back into the clutches of everyone else. Um, are you kidding me? Not now. Not now. I hate everything it's been fine up until now um but anyway yeah uh i do have a couple of solid ideas for the for what's going to happen after the season ends um one of the reasons i'm recording ahead though this much um i'm like three weeks ahead at the at this point um, is because it's going to give me time to plan out what the next thing is without me having to like take a week off or something. Most likely I should have it figured out and recorded whatever's going to take place next. Um, so, yeah. 
Halfway on fuel, huh? That's troubling. We haven't even... Hmm. So we're going to be a few laps short of making it on one stop. And I've been rotating these guys, so that means I'm... Uh, saving fuel with them. It's weird. Kind of surprising. Kind of surprising for... Uh, to see that. I figured this would be a one-stopper. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to have some time to figure it out. Um, and, I, and as always, I will pay attention to suggestions from you guys as well. Um, but I know, like, a, a few of you would love to see me just get back to NASCAR Thunder 2003. And I have to be honest that I don't know if that's going to happen now. It had been the plan when I moved these series over from the racing channel to, to here to continue that. But you see, there's two main things with that game. One is that I had been streaming it um, and taking a, a, a night of the stream to do that it, every week. It was fine at the time, but even then I wasn't keeping it consistent. Uh, I would miss a week sometimes. Um, and then also there was, um, there's just the stress levels of that game. It's very difficult and it, uh, it can be really, really frustrating. And at the race length I was doing, which is really the only way I'm ever going to actually make anything happen is race long enough for some strategy to work or whatever. Um, it's... It's just a lot to deal with, and honestly, I just wasn't enjoying it that much. Even when we had success, it was usually through stupid situations. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to continue Thunder 03, um, at least for a while. Um, will we get to it eventually? Maybe. Um, but I... As much as I used to enjoy the game, I just find myself not anymore. Um, and also, you have to realize, I'm playing on the lowest difficulty, and that's the only reason I'm having any success at all. If I was playing it on um, Veteran or Legend in that game, or the equivalent, whatever it is, um, I'd be last every race. And that would, you know, be not good. So on, on some level, even when I have success, I feel like, well, it's only because I'm running on Rookie. And why would anybody really want to watch that anyway? So, like, I, I question things like that a lot. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I know some of you still want to see it, so I apologize for those of you who are be upset about that. But I just don't know what the future holds there. Um, one game that I have started a couple times, never finished, that has the same feel as this game without the total team control aspect is NASCAR 2005. Um, and I feel like with that game, um, it's, it's going to have the feel that you're looking for from this game with the progressive career mode, and hopefully a lot less bugs. I'm actually going to pit, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just do that. I guess. Sure. Um, anyway, so that's, that's a game that I feel like will give kind of the same feel as this, with maybe less problems. And with less frustration than having to worry about my teammates, too. So maybe that's the next career mode I do. Um, there's really not any of the other games that I'm, like, feeling confident about jumping into. Um, I'm going to take a chance and just get right the frick out here. That was very risky, but I need to just get him out here. Um, Alright, Riggs is next. Hope I'm doing this pit strategy right. I really, really hope I'm doing this right and that it's going to be two stops for everybody. Riggs is still st showing yellow, though. Like, did I frick this over? Like, 
They said I was gonna, I was at halfway on lap like 14 or whatever. There's no way we can make it from there. All right, he's orange now too. I feel a little better. <laughs> um, but anyway, so there's that. But like NASCAR 07, NASCAR, like the Eutechnics games or the Heat games, like none of those are super appealing to me. I will admit Heat 4 looks good, but I don't know. I don't know. I've been burned before. Heat 2, Heat 3. I thought I was going to enjoy them, and to some degree I did for a bit, but then they always disappoint me. <laughs> um, it does look like they've answered a lot of the problems that I had with it, but that doesn't mean that I will still enjoy it enough to do a long series on it either. It's like, I don't know. Risky. But it worked. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so um, again, like if you guys have ideas, you can you can let me know. But that's kind of where I'm standing with these things. The thing is, there was a time when I actually considered like maybe not even doing any more NASCAR games for a while, just because I'm borderline burnout on the ones that I have been doing. I mean, I've been playing this particular game for so long, and if I do continue it, it's just gonna, you know, be even more. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, this is risky, but I'm gonna try to not kill Boris. Okay. Slowed him down a bit, but it's okay. It's okay. Just wanted to get you up to speed there. <laughs> Alright. Goes next. My car didn't pit this time either, so it's good. Whoops, slow down too much. Alright. But yeah, um I guess I can just tell you what I, I was I was gonna reserve not and, and not talk about it right now, but like I'll tell you what my thought is with this game is that a season four I would I would get all new teams um and I would attempt to win all four championships in one year. That would be the only thing left challenge wise, I think, for me to do. That year would feature me not caring as much about my teammates, like not trying to go out of my way to make sure they win or they get uh um in the top spots in the points or whatever. It would just be focusing on winning all four championships, which means skipping races in trucks and nationwide um more than i had to this season even um which means building up a bigger points lead for those uh that kind of thing um so it'd be a little bit more challenging there um and stuff like that plus i'm, I'm my thought is to pick teams that are even less likely to be up there <laughs> uh kind of a deal um you know, I think I'm going to let, um, no, if I let my car pit itself, it's going to um, take that access road, which is going to slow it away the frick down. Um, but anyway, um, wait, is my car going to make it to halfway? I am so upset right now if this happens. Because nobody else, people are pitting now, but like, I pitted force and then so early I bet I fricked them didn't I because now this car looks like it's gonna make it past halfway I I am so angry right now did I really just frick this up this bad the two guys I needed to make it the most I think I fricked if they pit again I guess I'll know but I am upset I may have to reset I don't like doing that, but like under the situation of not understanding the fuel situation, I kind of feel like I would have. Yeah, Boris is pitting again. God dang it. That means Scott's going to probably have to pit again, too. Oh, man.
Yeah, I don't know what to do. But I just talked about so much crap. Oh my god. That's so frustrating. I don't have to re-say all that. <laughs> uh... Alright, so... This is the second attempt. Um, I am going to let that first part stand pretty much because I talked about a lot of stuff and I don't want to have to re-talk about all that stuff. But um, So where we are right now, um, we have a pretty good size gap between Scott and Boris and the rest of the field. Joe had drifted back. I've got him in front of that pack of cars, but he started using like way too much fuel again it was it was looking bad there was a there was a brief caution for an incident happened like on lap three or whatever um that bought us a couple laps of fuel probably but even still he was like using it up way too fast it felt like um so once i got him in front of them i sort of just left him jump back to this car which is still on a yellow fuel light he was already on the orange so i figure i'll let the ai save him some fuel and hopefully he'll pit and be fine but again, he's the least of our concerns, really. Um, he can't lose his spot in the points. Um, so, yeah. I mean, technically, in my car, it wouldn't matter either. But I want to win with my car. And I want to help Scott and Boris. So Joe is the, the odd man out in that scenario. And now I'm showing orange, but I'm hoping I'll still be able to make it to halfway. Really, really hoping. Um... Maybe I should the yeah, AI drive again for a bit. Maybe I'll jump back to uh, one of these other two knuckleheads. Uh, let's see. Go with Boris. Yeah, I thought he was the one in front, so. He's already on orange fuel light too. Oh, crap. Um, that's not good. <laughs> All right, try Scott then. He's on an orange field light, too. Oh, uh, boy. I don't know. we got to make it past halfway, though. Like, I don't see any other way of doing this, and I can't let them, the AI, handle this because they're going to pit stupid slow way, and um, they'll, uh, you know, just not be good with them or take two tires like I would want. Ugh. So many, so many freaking things to think about and deal with here. Glitching, don't you start. Might be making a pass to the outside here. I didn't really mean to pass him, but it's happening, so there you go. I really need to control their pit stops, but I'm not going to be able to control all of them. Joe is pitting now. I hope he can make it from here. I really do. But, jeez, this is going to be a nightmare. I just feel it. Feel it in my bones. Red fuel light is on. And I have to go at least one more lap to be safe. That's not even really safe, considering if I have to drive this car, I use up so much fuel. I got to take the chance, you know? I suppose there's any chance Boris could stay out another lap because that would be swell. I wish I could do a command to tell him don't pit this time by. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. My car is not pitting. It's surprising. Looks like I'm going to make it though. And Boris isn't pitting. Good. Thank you. I ran out of gas. <laughs> That's really funny. Alright. Just right. Uh, he's going to get held up on pit roads. So this will be minimally gaining him time. Dang it. I hate this. I hate this. This shouldn't be a thing right here. This sucks. Just give it up all the time the two tires are going to gain him. And then some, probably. Oh, well. As long as we can make it on fuel, I guess. But that was with that couple lap caution too like i don't know i don't know it's, it's so weird this the way this game is like the ai are gonna make it fine but if i'm driving any of these cars i'm using a, so much more fuel 
some tracks that doesn't matter this one it clearly does um, and that's really aggravating really aggravating oh god that's a terrible place to take control or it should be a lot safer on fuel though there's that, I guess. And he hasn't, doesn't look like he has much traffic to deal with on pit road, so lucky him, I guess. This guy will be more of the concern just because he lost time on pit road and he has less fuel, but we'll see. We will see. I'll spend as little time as possible driving those cars. Like, I'll go back to Joe, I guess, for a while and... Try to s let the AI save some fuel. That's really all I can do. Okay. Yeah, he got out way ahead of Scott. Um. Dang it, I didn't catch my car in time. Or, wait, he's not pitting? What the heck? He's not on the access road. Why can't I? Oh, never mind. He's crashing. He's crashing. Oh, how many people are going to be trapped lap down now? Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Why did that just happen? Why did my car just do that? Oh, my gosh. Did it run out of gas? Is that what it was? It's showing out now. <sighs> oh, my God. This video game is so broken. Alright, am I on the lead lap or not? I think I am. My car's out. My car is out. Oh. Alright, I'm on the lead lap, but is Scott? I just wrecked Mike Bliss. No, he didn't bring out a caution, though. I wonder if Scott's on the lead lap. God, this is... Why did that happen? Why? Why did, it, did my car run out of gas and then it just shot down to the inside? Or was it just the whole switching cars thing just sometimes gets you, get your car wrecked? Like, I don't know. I hate everything. If I have to redo this again, I'm going to be so salty. I mean, I wanted to win with my car, but like even if it DNFs, I'm still going to be the champion. So I guess who cares? But also... Have I put these guys in a position where they are screwed? Like, is Scott up there in a good spot, or is he a lap down? Where's Joe? You know, etc. I mean, I see him, but like, is he on the lead lap? Is he not? I mean, I don't think Scott is. Scott can't be. He was further back than Boris. So, realistically, Scott's fricked right now. It's Sadler's leading the race, but it looks like Tony Stewart might be fighting back there. He was leading, and they're trading the lead back and forth a little bit. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Riggs is 17th one lap down, yeah. That's what I figured. Dang. Junior got into Boris there a little bit. So I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, that wasn't for position, so Joe's only lap two. Okay. What a travesty this whole affair is. <laughs> oh, man. I kind of, like, with my car, it's kind of, like, reminiscent of uh, Matt Kim's with winning his championship. He... DNF or he blew up uh, at Olmstead, but he had a big enough points lead that it didn't matter. And then he, they put a new engine in and let him go out and do a burnout at the end of the race. It's pretty funny. Um, I just don't know if this is going to be a good enough finish for Riggs. I mean, yeah, he's got bonus points too but like if Jeff is running like fourth or something here fifth whatever 
that's a problem. Um, unless Jeff's also a lap down, in which case we're gonna find out. Nope, he is not. Okay, 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 all right. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Jeez. Uh, it's always something with this game. Like, I thought the first time was going to be fine, and that all got fricked up because I didn't understand why I was so low on fuel, and other than just getting fricked over by the game. And then this time I thought, well, at least this will go well. And then my car just decides to die and frick over, you know, rigs because he had pitted and all that. It's just like, oh my god. Why does this stuff happen to, to me, really? This is one of the reasons why I wouldn't mind getting away from this game, honestly. It's just how buggy and stupid it can be sometimes. Oh god, no, 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 I didn't want the caution then, I wanted it after I got in front. <laughs> and now I'm all damaged and fricked and god, this race. Alright, please let me start alongside. Why am I, why, why? There was still more than 10 to go, why did I not get to start up alongside the leader? Because I was the cause of the caution? Was that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm very angry. <laughs> Wait, I'm back on the lead lamp. What? I'm... What? <laughs> Why? Why am I back on... I don't understand. That was my own debris there. Just so you all know. This... <laughs> this is a nightmare. Now I'm here. I'm, mm, Top, <laughs> All right, there's Boris, probably bleeding positions away in a hurry. Oh god, damage is affecting me. And another caution. Oh jeez. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. I really don't. Right. Caution's out again. Just debris falling off this car non stop. I mean, this is probably the end of the race, right? It was not the end of the race, but the caution came out before we even got rolling there. Oh, because Carl has damage. I see. Oh, because of Riggs. This is so stupid. So, was this enough? Um, trying to think. I'm trying to think here. Let's look at these results and try to figure this out. Okay, did Jeff Gordon lead? He did not. Tony Stewart did, though, and led the most, didn't he? No, I guess that would have been my car. Um,. So, I've crunched the numbers. I think, I think they're okay. And honestly, I didn't want the race to end like this. I didn't want the season to end like this. But this is such a this game ending for this that maybe I'm okay with it, honestly. I mean, 
frick, right? Like, maybe this makes sense for the season to end like this. Just a complete disaster that somehow still works out. Where did Joe end up 16th? Um, so frick it. Let's, let's just go. Right? We are definitely the champions. We lost fans and prestige, but yeah. We did it. All right, here are the final point standings for all the series. We're going to find out if I crunch the numbers correctly. <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay, so uh, the team that we bought, Jamie Gonzalez and Casey Clemens, they raced it out, and they finished 1-2, got the, the, the top two. Um, we bought their team late in the season just so we could claim the championship, honestly. Um the guy that we, let's see, where are we at here? This was the guy we had at the start of the season. We fired him, and we hired this guy who ran just a few races, but seems to have done decent because he finished ahead of multiple people um, despite that. So good for him. But yeah, quote, unquote, our team won. <laughs> so moving on. Perhaps in the truck series, we mid-season switched teams because... Um, <sighs> We had Brandon Witt's team, and it was a disaster. I mean, our driver was doing okay, and he did finish 7th overall. Um, so that's cool. He was doing okay, but Brandon Witt was just having the worst season ever. Um, so we, we, we bought Roush Racing, and we got an easy championship there. Plus, it helped Chase Diggs end up 7th in the point, so good for him. Um, where did uh, Brandon Witt end up? Yeah, dead last. What a disaster of a year for him. Anyway. We win, yay! <laughs> Nationwide was never in doubt. We had that sewed the frick up. It was only close between these two ever. Um, but uh, one, two, three for Childress, big deal there. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty decent. Oh, drum roll, please. Oh my god, we did it. Yes, I crunched the numbers correctly. <sighs> they did it, they stayed in. Just barely. 18 points. Tony Stewart leapfrog Jeff Gordon there. And um, here's the rest of the top 10. Oh, man. Everybody else. Oh, my gosh. I can't. You know what? I, I almost reset again because I thought I don't want that travesty to wrap the season up. But that travesty is a direct, like, explanation of what this game is like, in my opinion. It's it's just stupid crap happens for no reason and fricks up your plans. But you know what? We overcame it. We got those guys up there. Like, I got Scott back on the lead lap. I still don't know exactly how that worked, but I did. And um, we passed enough people wrecking and <laughs> dropping debris to get, uh, to get these two where they needed to be. So, yeah. Not the prettiest way of doing it but we did it plus we are the cup series champion and we got one two three four for our team i don't really care how we did it we got it done so there you go <laughs> if if some of you are upset with how that ended and wished i'd reset well i've been recording this episode for three hours um and uh i don't really care anymore <laughs> so let's move on Mark Martin retired and was replaced by no one. Terry Labonte retired and was replaced by no one. Dale Jarrett retired and was replaced by Jackson Zim. Okay, so here's here's something that I don't know. Do we get offers? I don't think so, right? Because we we didn't really run the season as a regular driver to get an offer, right? So we ran it as the owner of our team so we probably won't i was wondering if they would offer us mark or terry's cars or whatever but it would be interesting even though i wouldn't take them up on it it would be interesting um but okay that happened let's uh let's move past lots of phone calls emails uh sign a new contract buy a new team whatever sponsorship drops yeah sure Yeah, elite driver retired, gotcha. 
And the more important message to hear. Alright, congratulations, man. You have won the chase for the cup. Keep it up and you are gonna be the next NASCAR legend. I'd say I already am, let's be real. <laughs> oh man. I guess we can look in the race shop real quick, see what's going on there. Um yeah, all our sponsorships were dropped. Uh, and all that. Um, so we're not going to see any contract offers, even if we had them. I bet we don't, though, just because we didn't, like, work our way up. Like, this safe, uh, you know, because of the glitches, I had to just basically put us in the position we were. Um, so there was no building up. So there probably aren't any contract offers at all. Or maybe there are from Wheelin or something. But, yeah. Um, so that's unfortunate. But, um... So, yeah, I got to decide what I'm going to do. Um, if I end up going forward with that idea of mine for the uh, all four championships thing, um, then I will probably do a video detailing all of that, what teams I went with, all that stuff. Um, and then that could end up just being a streamed thing where I w would just try to do a bunch of races and then just put up the whole VOD just so that we made a lot of progress with it. Um, so that's a thing. Um, and then I'm still going to have to decide on like, am I doing 2005? Am I doing something else? So yeah, I'll be thinking about that in these coming weeks. Um, and, uh, hopefully I will have a decision made. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, whether or not this continues, thank you for the support throughout all of this uh, this career mode and all the ups and downs and jumping from one channel to the other and and save file shenanigans and glitches and and cheating and things to try to make things work and blah blah blah. Um, I appreciate it greatly. Uh, I was really hoping they would show last season's statistics, but they did not. Um, but anyway, I do appreciate your guys' support, um, and whatever comes next, I, uh, I hope you'll, you'll stick around to watch. But until then, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!